uh, like a Zoom who had a you know pretty ugly uh, uh, ugly reaction to earnings. It probably will have a day two tomorrow. Okay, um, you know it would be really nice to see uh, a gap up into supply rejection, and once it takes out today's channel, you could see a second move. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading day. Uh, so let's talk about the market right now. So um, NASDAQ continues to do uh, very, very well. Again, just kind of a, just a quick glance overview uh, of what's happening here. So again, we talked about this three days ago. Q's finally broke the formation, took out this uh, whole 293.75, 294 level, and had a really good three-day run. And today, it, it, it basically stopped at the upper Bollinger Band. And again, if you believe in the theory like I do, that stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, there is no, there is no um, really surprise that we did stop at supply. Because again, if you look at supply, where the market stopped, it stopped right over here, it stopped right over here, and today it stopped over here. So from the macro point of view, you know, there is an, a possibility, an opportunity that the market had a, uh, I don't, I don't want to use the word blow off top, that's not the word I want to use, but I, I, I would say the market had a little bit of a pregnant pause today. And it, as much as a lot of these names really did very well, and we'll get into the individual pivots in a second, we have to kind of acknowledge where the macro view is. So if you look at uh, where the cues were in the last several times, it, blow, it, it hit the upper Bollinger Band, right? We hit the upper Bollinger Band, we started going lower. We hit the upper Bollinger Band, we started going lower, yada, 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 and obviously we hit it today. So again, nobody is calling for uh, Armageddon for tomorrow before, before anybody loses their mind and says, oh my God, Dan's calling. No, 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 no. I think we're going to have a structural back test tomorrow from the indexes, which which basically means you're not even going to feel it. But again, we are still in such a big momentum mode that so many times, you know, you'll have a really big premium session. Today, uh, we had some really aggressive pivots, but you'll you'll have a really aggressive session, you, and you'll look at the indexes and you'll turn around and you go, "Holy crap, the Dow's down 200 points." So I think tomorrow could set up one of those days that you could still have very very aggressive buying, but the indexes could have a rest. So that's why if you look at tonight's video, um, I definitely have uh, some longs that I still really like. Um, I have some shorts that I believe will continue for tomorrow, but it's a very, very balanced day because again, nothing will ever come with the situation uh, of a really, really aggressive um, bear market scenario at the top of the range. It won't. There's a lot of pregnant pauses. And again, can we have a couple of days worth of back testing into the rising five day support, which we held yesterday? Absolutely. But again, the moral of the story is you're probably not going to feel it. However, you are going to feel it if you are trading really, really extended stocks. And if you continue to press on those overextended stocks, more chances than not, you are going to get pulled. So again, if you look at the names that are getting pulled the hardest in the last several days, that the names that had the biggest runs, right? Square had a really, really big run, right? It got pulled. And even it got upgraded today, it got pulled. A stock like Boeing that had a really, really big run, again, it's still, you know, getting hit. Again, the word hit maybe is a little over-exaggerated, but the stock still is not rallying in this latest move. So that's kind of my point. You're not going to go see... Uh, one of those scenarios that we're going to be down 800 points, the sky is falling, uh, cancel Christmas. But again, if you believe in the theory that stocks do trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, then again, this is an area that, again, from at least from the point of the index side, you really should have um, at least a conscious just knowing that we might pull back. So be very, very careful, especially in the morning session, uh, that you're buying any overextended stocks. If you look at the diamonds, you'll kind of reflect the same thing, right? The diamonds uh, had a top here at 301. Today's high, da, 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 301. So you kind of see it how it's playing out. Uh, the only one that's kind of holding in here, holding serve without any type of uh, really big uh, statement is the IWM. The IWM has a pretty uh, pretty good channel here. Uh, over 104.50, we go higher. Below uh, 100, uh, 180, we go lower. So it's not really making a definitive statement. What, what I like, what I saw today, uh, was we've been talking about for a long time. Beta is finally waking up. If we talked about uh, Facebook, you guys remember a couple of days ago, I'm like, look, it's a matter of time. It's just, it needs to go, it needs to go. It finally it exploded. We talked about Netflix for several days. It needs to go, it needs to go. Again, this, this, this area was not 
um, you know, was not obvious to a lot of traders. This was a really, really good area. Again, a really, really big move here as well. Apple went yesterday. So again, we're looking one by one. The only one that I'm still really, really puzzled about is NVIDIA. And again, we had a pretty good trade in NVIDIA today. Uh, we, you know, we bought this 38 channel and traded right to this 41 level. It just couldn't get through. Maybe tomorrow. Again, there's no such thing as the market going lower. It's about stock appreciation and depreciation based on levels. So again, if we do have a pullback and these stocks do hold serve, and again, it actually is holding this formation, maybe tomorrow will be the day. Until that happens, again, we can only wait for confirmation prices. So I like the action today. It was pretty aggressive. Um, I like the setups for tomorrow. I do believe names, for example, uh, like a Zoom who had a you know pretty ugly uh, uh, ugly reaction to earnings. It probably will have a day two tomorrow. Okay, um, you know it would be really nice to see uh, a gap up into supply rejection. And once it takes out today's channel, you could see a second move uh, all the way down to the 389 channel. Very very possible, but. On the flip side of it, you know, you could see a day two in, in Facebook. You could see a day two in Netflix. You could see a day two in Amazon. Again, first close over this whole formation. Again, this is this is definitely an area that it could po possibly retest over the next couple of days. Uh, Apple had a great run again from that pivot we talked about from the 318 pivot. Had a really good run. And again, look where it stopped. It stopped right at supply. Again, the options market is still pretty strong in most names, right? You saw uh, 530 call buyers uh, this morning in Netflix. You saw 300 weekly call buyers today uh, in Facebook. You saw pretty decent aggressive call buyers today in Amazon as well. So we are in a very, very specific, unique kind of environment tomorrow. It is going to be stock specific. Yes, we could get a pullback in indexes. But again, I, I do believe unless everything really starts hitting the fan and ranges start to collapse, I do believe you will have a very, very specific uh, trading session based on individual names and nobody really is going to feel uh, the effects of uh, an overall uh, back test. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, today's session, again, uh, very, very aggressive. Uh, we talked about very specific levels, uh, stocks that were coming out of ranges that we wanted to make sure uh, were still very, very valid. Uh, and these are some big moves here. So we've been talking about Netflix for several days. It was just kind of a matter of time. Again, big order flow coming in, uh, 495, 497, sneaky areas, the macro chase starts, uh, anything over 500, and Netflix exploded. Again, really, really big move here. Uh, so here is the 495, right? 495, 497, uh, reclaimed the 50-day moving average. And again, the only reason uh, why the stock stopped, right? Literally, the only reason why the stock stopped uh, was because the upper Bollinger Band. This thing gets, you know, if this thing gets reclaimed, look how much room you have. So huge move on Netflix. Uh, NVIDIA, again, initially I liked the 541. We actually took, uh, we actually got long uh, off of the 538. There was a sneaky pivot right near lunchtime. Um, I got long off the 538 level. You can see here, here's a sneaky candle here. And it went to 41, and I gave it every opportunity. Again, I took money along the way, but I gave it every opportunity to reclaim that 541 level, and it just came off short. But again, that's going to be the number going forward, this whole supply for the next several days. Again, decent cash flow, but again, we're looking for something more there. Uh, Roku never got to the 295. Facebook just absolutely exploded, guys. Congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught Facebook, 80-20 needs to build, huge, absolutely huge macro area, right, here is Facebook, uh, so here is the 80-20, this whole channel here, 80-20, and the stock went to uh, 289, obviously any pullback uh, on Netflix, on Facebook, uh, needs to be bought on the rising, uh, on the rising 60 minute support for possible uh, red to green moves there, so really, really big moves, uh, SDGR, I still like it here, never got close, uh, to the 272 levels, um, you know, check, you know, check out this maxim, um, you know, check out this maxim, uh, you know, nice move. It was a little too thin for me. That's the only thing. Maxim broke out today, uh, 83, 75, 84. Here was maxim, right? Here was maxim broke out. We talked about maxim uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, traded up like a dollar, dollar and change. Nothing really big there. 
Um, PGN, small cap name, really exploded. Uh, $8 needs to build. Look at this PGN did. Um, really big move, right? Big, big move. Uh, traded almost the nine bucks. Uh, big move there on PGN. Uh, Peloton got taken down with Zoom, so never got close to there. Uh, AMD, 93, rejected several times. Needs to reclaim. Again, heavy call buying yesterday. Not a big move, but again, this was, you can, you can make a, you can make a, a really good case uh, that it had an inside day today. Um, you know, took out the 93, went to like 93.90 before it kind of relaxed here. But again, I like the formation uh, there as well. Uh, too low never got the 324. Square never got the 215. I actually like Square on the short side tomorrow. And here are the moves. Again, huge move on um, Facebook, Netflix. Uh, even the video gave a pretty good trade as well. Uh, Go Go never got here. New highs on Maxim. Uh, mRNA. Uh, I, I missed this mRNA. I, I was at lunch. Uh, congratulations to all you guys who caught this absolutely monster move. 155 if builds below can flush. I think the word flush is an absolute understatement. Uh, here was the 155, right? Here's the 155. It confirmed the 155. Just got murdered all the way down to 130. Again, I was at lunch. Nothing I could do there as well. But again, for all you guys who did catch a great job as well. Uh, yeah, here comes the buyers. Um, here comes the buyers. Um, the 300 calls, you know, Facebook going on. So um, some pretty good value today. Absolutely really good value today. Um, I think tomorrow, like I said, um, I think tomorrow will be a very stock specific day. Um, Square, I like to the downside on some maybe confirmation. Zoom, uh, maybe a follow through, maybe mRNA for a second day uh, swallow. I still like Facebook into dips, Amazon to dips, Apple into significant dips, but maybe not as much as the others, and definitely Netflix as well. So, again, you know, business as usual. Uh, guys, hope everybody is doing well. Again, great time of the year, uh, holiday time, absolutely awesome. Uh, and again, hopefully, uh, everything is great in your life. You're happy, you're healthy, uh, and with God's help, okay, we'll see each other tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a great night.